I grew up like a neglected weed ignorant of liberty, having no experience of it. Then I was not happy or contented. Every time I saw a white man I was afraid of being carried away. Slavery is the next thing to hell. If a person would send another into bondage, he would, it appears to me, be bad enough to send him into hell if he could. I have heard their groans and sighs, and seen their tears, and I would give every drop of blood in my veins to free them. Now I've been free, I know what a dreadful condition slavery is. I have seen hundreds of escaped slaves, but I never saw one who was willing to go back and be a slave. We would rather stay in our native land, if we could be as free there as we are here. I would make a home for them in the north, and the Lord helping me, I would bring them all here. I had reasoned this out in my mind, there was one of two things I had a right to, liberty or death, if I could not have one, I would have the other. For no man should take me alive, I should fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasted, and when the time came for me to go, the Lord would let them take me. God's time is always near. He set the North Star in the heavens, He gave me the strength in my limbs, He meant I should be free. I think there's many a slaveholder will get to heaven. They don't know no better. They act up to the light they have. I ask of my Heavenly Father, that when the last trump sounds, and my name is called, I may stand close by your side, to answer to the call. We was the fools, and there was the wise men, but we wasn't fools enough to go down the high road in the broad daylight. The white ladies and gentlemen gathered round him, till I couldn't see Joe for the crowd, only I heard his voice singing, Glory to God and Jesus too, louder than ever. Now, missus, don't you think this old head that done the navigation down in Egypt can do the navigation up here in New York? I just removed my father's trial to a higher court and brought him off to Canada. What did you say to me this? You said we hadn't got nothing to eat in the house, and what did I say to you? I said I've got a rich father. No, sir, the Lord's never mistaken. Anyhow I'm going to sit here till I get it. Appears like my heart go flutter, flutter, and then they may say peace, peace, as much as they likes, I know it's going to be war. If my services do not place woman as man's equal, what do? My people are free. My home, after all, was down in Maryland, because my father, my mother, my brothers, and sisters, and friends were there. But I was free, and they should be free. I said to the Lord, I'm going to hold steady on to you, and I know you will see me through. I paid a lawyer five dollar to look up the will of my mother's first master. He looked back sixty years, and said it was time to give up. I told him to go back further. Master Lincoln, he's a great man, and I'm a poor negro, but this negro can tell Master Lincoln how to save money and young men. There was no one to welcome me to the land of freedom. I was a stranger in a strange land. I had my jubilee three years ago. I rejoiced all I could then. I can't rejoice no more. Oh no, missus, he does it for conscience. We was taught to do so down south. He says if he denies himself for the sufferings of his Lord and Master, Jesus will sustain him. God won't let Master Lincoln beat the self until he does right thing. We're rooted here, and they can't pull us up. Oh, Lord! You've been with me in six troubles, don't desert me in the seventh. I often think, missus, of things I wish I had told you before you wrote the book. I was conductor of the Underground Railroad for eight years, and I can say what most conductors can't say, I never ran my train off the track and I never lost a passenger. I go to prepare a place for you. And I prayed to God to make me strong and able to fight, and that's what I've always prayed for ever since.